Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, for a long time, I was a registered independent voter. And I looked on both the Democrats and Republicans with disdain. But eventually I realized that being an independent was basically sitting on the sidelines. You didn't get to, at that time, there weren't any open primaries, so you didn't get to vote in anybody's primary, and there never was an independent candidate that, that was viable, so you just wound up having to choose between the Republican and the Democrat anyway. So I decided that I needed to come off the sidelines, pick a party and register with them. And uh, the Democrats were kind of closer to my philosophy than the Republicans were, so I registered as a Democrat. But I still have voted for both Republicans and Democrats, just depending on who I liked. But then the Republicans started getting nuts. It happened to, to me, it happened during the Clinton administration when Newt Gingrich and his crowd got in. You know, that's when the, all of a sudden there were all these paranoid conspiracy theories about the Clintons. Of course, there was the uh, impeachment thing, all that. It was just like, these guys are weird. And it has just continued on that path and gotten more and more extreme ever since. But the Democrats, the Democrats are disgustingly gutless. They're just a bunch of disgusting cowards. In the midterm election, they were such chicken shits that it was inevitable that they lost. Allison Lundegren Grimes is a perfect example. In Kentucky, the Affordable Care Act is called Covered KY, and it's very popular. But the way it was presented, most of the people in Kentucky don't seem to know that the program that they're covered under is Obamacare. They think Covered KY is something different. So Mitch McConnell was able to campaign on repealing Obamacare and Kentuckians thought that they would still be able to keep their coverage if he did that. This was the perfect opportunity for Grimes to expose McConnell for the liar that he is. Instead, she chose the coward's way out and didn't talk about it at all. And so she went down to a well-deserved defeat. And this lack of courage was repeated by Democrats all across the country. And since the Democrats didn't stand for anything, they gave their supporters nothing to vote for. They stayed home. And the Democrats lost big in the last election. Now maybe they would have lost the election anyway, but it's a lot better to go down fighting than cowering. And once again, the Democrats are displaying the same lack of courage that has become so typical of them. They're siding with Republicans in trying to scuttle the nuclear deal with Iran. If they do that, the UN inspectors will be forced to leave Iran. And Iran will be able to restart those aspects of their nuclear program, which they have shut down during the uh, negotiations. The only uh, alternative will be war. And we will have to initiate that war. We will have to start it. We will have to attack Iran. And believe me, there isn't going to be any coalition. We have, 
we will have alienated so many of our allies that it'll be impossible to build one. We will be as isolated as Iran is. So any Democrat that sides with the Republicans on this, I hope they will be primaried out. If they refuse to stand up for peace, that's the worst kind of cowardice. I mean, I might just go back to registering as an independent because I don't want to be associated with cowards like that. Thanks for listening.